Hey there, lovely viewers. Welcome back to App Unbox. I'm Husky, and today we're diving into a fantastic tool that's going to revolutionize the way you manage your time and supercharge your productivity. Today, we'll be talking about the incredible Trackabee Time Tracker app. Before we jump into the nitty gritty of this awesome app, let's talk about why this time tracking is crucial for our productivity. Time is the most valuable resource, and managing it efficiently can make all the difference in achieving our goals. That's where Trackaby comes in. With its sleek interface and user-friendly features, Trackaby helps you to stay on top of your tasks, projects, and goals. So guys, this is Trackaby. It offers a lot of things, including free intelligent time tracking and leave management. Let's get started for free. But before getting started for free, let's check out the pricings of Trackaby. So here is Trackaby. The starter will cost $0.00. But it's for five users. So if you uh, have five users in your company, then then Trackaby is good for managing five members. And then we have the business package, which is going to cost us uh, sixteen dollar. Well, that's annual billing, twenty percent saving. All right, if let's not save twenty percent, then we get a twenty dollar per month. Well, that'll be two forty annually, and that'll be one ninety and one ninety two annually. All right, so um, sixteen dollar for every five user per month. Okay, up to 50 users uh, employees. Alright, 50 users slash employees, which is uh, users are uh, employees. Okay, now we have uh, the monthly package. Let's explore the monthly package. So up to 50 user employees, uh, unlimited number of companies, uh, up to 200 active projects, up to 50 active clients, up to 5 user roles, up to 10 teams, up to 10 achievements, and screenshot capturing, app activity, and browser URL log. All right, so everything is gonna be here, browser URL log, app activity, everything. And then we have the business plus plan. So everything in business, and uh, so what's here? We can add up to 100 users or employees, up to 1,000 active points, and 300 active clients, up to 10 user roles, up to 20 teams, and up to 20 achievements. And then we have the enterprise package, which uh, which we have to contact with them and get it ourselves. And here we'll get unlimited users. And so, if a big company wants to use Trackaby, then they can contact Trackaby and uh, get uh, a own custom package to have unlimited users in it. So let's go ahead and find out that if Trackaby has lifetime deal or not. Trackaby a lifetime deal. Let's see. So we have it on AppSumo, we have Lifetime Module Mango, Grab OTD, uh, Digital Launchpad, uh, does Digital Launchpad works? Uh, maybe it does. Let's check Digital Launchpad. Alright, so we have it on AppSumo and Digital Launchpad, the rest is just redirecting sites, so we're not copying them. So here is the AppSumo, and uh, we are paying 99 only to get the entire package, and we are getting the lifetime deal. So we just only pay once, but we can buy up to three codes. Now we are going to check out what which code does. So let's go ahead. Uh, gamification of time tracking. Let's see uh, what we are getting here. All right, gamification of time tracking. Achievements, Karma, Leaderboard, and then we have it for iOS, time tracking on your phone, GPS routes, oh my god. So GPS tracking will be here, summaries, and leave schedules will be managed from here. And then we have Mac OS desktop app with activity monitoring. So we have informative dashboards and leave schedule management. And here is the deal terms and conditions of uh, the, this uh, lifetime code of Trackaby. You can stack up to three codes. And the, um, here is 60 days money back guarantee. So you can try it for two months to make sure it's right for you. And if you don't feel like it's right, you can just return and get your refund back. All right, so here are the features included in all plans. I mean, plan one, two, three. And this, these are the features that will be included in every single plan. So in plan one, we are getting 25 users. And in plan two, we are getting 50 users. In plan three, we are getting 75 users. And we can probably buy more codes and add 25 members uh, by purchasing each code and stacking them. So let's see if it works. It can track me automatically. Well, here are some reviews. Uh, hola. Okay, we don't integration quick up. Okay, yeah, here we go. Can I stack two clients of three codes? 
to support more employees, uh, here we go. Yes, you may add as many codes as you would like and get 25 users for each code. So after purchasing three codes, you can add more codes if you want more 25 users. So you can probably add up to unlimited users by stacking un unlimited codes. All right, so we are gonna go to Trackabee's homepage. So we are gonna sign up to Trackabee, but since I already have an account, I'm going to sign in instead. For those of you who don't have an account, just to go on sign up, and then we can uh, sign up with our email. So here, let's go ahead and give our email address. So here is our profile, and we can go to the app from the web store, I guess. Your subscription has expired, all right? So the subscription has expired. Let's see, uh, what else can we do? Register a new company. We can register for a new company. Let's see. Registering company. Unlocks. So here we go. We have registered a new company and now we are going to explore with the new company. All right, so here we have personal details, dashboard, timesheet, leaps, import, and settings. And then we have some company details, which includes dashboards, insights, timesheet, leaps, uh, reports, invoices, projects, clients, staff, teams, achievement, roles, and settings. All right, uh, here we have a zero project, so zero, um, zero hours. So how does it work? We just turn on the timer and the timer automatically uh, gets started and it counts endlessly until we stop. So here our timer has started. Suppose you are an employee, you got into your office at 8 a.m. and then you start the timer. And until this timer is running, your time is being tracked and your activity in your computer will be tracked. So let's see what else we are getting while the timer is on. So let's go to dashboard, we have nothing here. Then we're gonna go to timesheet so here we have our running time, or we can input any time manually. So here we are going to select a client or employee. So company or client name, let's see, I'm going to insert name test. We're going to save this. Then client details have been saved. The project will be test project, okay, no problem. Okay, I can't insert a project, so we are going to have to insert projects first. Well, let's see. First, I'm going to stop this timer. Okay, now we're going to start the timer again. Now I should have a project name. This has six seconds time logged. Okay, that's the new one. So here is the other one where we had we had been active for one minute. Now we can also insert our time name or projects. Uh, well, we have to add projects first in order to. Uh, add project here. Okay, so we have to add tasks too. Uh, let's just close this window, confirm, we're gonna leave it, and we can input manually with time. See, we can select time, two hour, 20 minutes, work type, work, and we're gonna click on, save and continue. Close it. So here is another timer that uh, we have been working for two hours. So if someone has been working off their computer and the time haven't been tracked, then you can also add their time manually from this timesheet. Then we have our leave management setting here. We can add leave date, that vacation type. So what vacation type do we have? Vacation, sickness, casual, study, unpaid. So we're going to get unpaid vacation from uh, 9 to 15. Alright, number of working days 5. Then comment will be approved. Now we are going to go and save these settings. So pending approval um, 5. So I think I have to approve those leaves again. Now here we have them. Let's see. Okay, so here I have approved the leaves. And the leave request has been approved, so as you can see in calendar, those one, two, three, well, four, five, so five working days, and these two are not working days, so these two are not being counted. Non deductible, five, okay. Deductible is working days, non deductible is five. So now we can import. What can we import? Let's see. So in import sources, we can uh, add third party services from which you can import data to your timesheet, alright? 
Uh, we don't want to import anything else. So here are the working hours from 9 a.m. to 18, well, 6 p.m. actually. All right, so we're gonna change a little timing. So we put eight here, and then we are gonna set we're gonna set 16 over here. So it's eight to 16 now. The current page data has been modified. Would you like to leave and discard your changes? So I'm not discarding my changes, so I'm gonna save it. Then we are having notification. So uh, running timer reminder. Notification frequency is two minutes. If enabled, you will be notified that your timer has been running for too long. These notifications are sent during working hours only. No running timer duration. Okay. If enabled, you will you will be notified that your timer hasn't been started. Okay, so we can enable this. If our timer hasn't been started, we will be notified. And these are sent during working hours only. Okay, so these will be sent to us during working hours only. Now we're going to save this again. And then we have company. So let's go to company dashboard. Here is myself and we have unpaid five sleeps uh, approved. And here is our time logged today. So we can see everyone's uh, history time logged uh, leaves over here. But since I'm only here, so I can see myself. Then we're gonna go to insights. Let's see what's in insights. So time logged in two hour twenty one minutes. All right. So in the insights, guys, we will be able to see all of the employees uh, who is doing what around. Uh, you know, who's taking leaves, who's not working very well. As you can see, I'm the owner, so my leaves are not counted here. Uh, let's see, so time logged, time billable, 2 hours 21 minutes, and here we have a uh, desktop activity time with hours. Alright, that's pretty cool. Then we have timesheet. So in timesheet, uh, our current timer is running, yeah, but in this timesheet, we will be able to see everyone's timesheet, not only mine. In personal, I was able to see my timesheet, but in this timesheet, we are able to see everyone else's timesheet. Then we have leaves. So in the leaves option, we have uh, employees one and uh, approved, pending approved. Okay, pending approval is zero because we have already uh, approved the pending approval that was uh, pending. Okay, now let's go moving on to reports. Uh, in reports, we have nothing here. We can go to timesheet and add our first report. No, we're not going to be adding any reports, but you can add one if you need. No invoices found. We can create invoices from here. Then we have project. As I mentioned earlier, we haven't created a project. That's why no project was found there. So I'm creating a project here. Publish a video. All right. Now this is a start project name. Okay. So uh, this will be estimated hours. Short project name. Now we will not have short project name. Okay. So we can have a bill for our projects okay there are lots of options here okay costly for our cost for hourly rate will be ten dollar and client which is that client okay client will be test short but and let's just give it what the hell right then we have start date starting date will be since i have vacation i'm going to start it from 21 and be running it from 21 to 25 then we have time estimated um well time estimated we're gonna be estimating 25 dollars sorry 25 hours you can also select non not billable project and the bill will not be here okay billable hourly rate we can say billable hourly rate uh, we can set billable hourly rate to ten dollar or we can just say select not billable description okay done Okay, let's go ahead and save the project. Then we can save project tasks and plan estimation and everything. All right, so you can see this uh, project details will be done from here. And then we'll have clients where we already have a client, which is this test guy. Well, like I didn't know that test will become a client or I would have given him a name. Now he's just test here. And then we can go and manage our staffs which is me, myself here, and then uh, we have current employee, we have pending invitations, well, we, uh, we don't have any pending invitations, former employee, so if someone gets fired, they will be here, and 
and you will be able to see them at your former employee tab. Then in the teams section, we don't have any team yet, but you can create your first team. And then we have achievements. We can set achievements for our employees. Let's say we are gonna set the achievement of employee of the month. How about that? So we have uh, this achievement. We are going to save this one. And we have employee of the month achievement set. So then we have roles, employee, and I, manager, settings, company profile, admin box. Okay, so this is the company profile. We have nothing special here. And I guess that's all. So, so we can do lots more from here. If we had a smartphone, then we would be able to track our GPS location with this track of the application. But it's not available in the computer version. But uh, we, if we had the application of Tagabee, then we would be able to track GPS. Now, let's just close our timer. And now we are going to go back to our timesheet. Okay, so the timer that we were uh, running has been added. Now let's go ahead to our insights and check out the timer. We have 2 hours 31 minutes log now and time available is 2 hours 31 minutes. Alright guys, so as you can see you can do so much with Trackabee and a lot more tracking will be uh, done with Trackabee. So if you have the premium version, you will be able to get screenshots of your employees. You will be able to track their applications, you will get their web URL and each and everything. So there you have it folks, the Trackabee Time Tracker app. It's your ultimate productivity companion. Whether you're a busy professional juggling multiple projects or someone striving for a more organized routine, Trackabee has got your back. Say goodbye to wasted time and hello to a more productive you. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep tracking and keep achieving. By the way, the link is down below in the description. Be sure to check that out if you want to purchase Trackabee time tracking application.